Hello, everybody, and welcome to uh, evening prayer. So I'm a little bit late, uh, but we have Psalm 135 and the second half of Romans chapter one today. And so we begin. Blessed are you, Lord God, creator of day and night. To you be praise and glory forever. As darkness falls, you renew your promise to reveal among us the light of your presence. By the light of Christ, your living word, dispel the darkness of our hearts, that we may walk as children of light and sing your praise throughout the world. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. Let us pray and ask the Lord to inform us as we hear his word. Psalm 135. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Give praise, you servants of the Lord. You that stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Make music to his name, for it is lovely. For the Lord has chosen Jacob for himself and Israel for his own possession. For I know that the Lord is great and that our Lord is above all gods. The Lord does whatever he pleases in heaven and on earth, in the seas and in all the deeps. He brings up the clouds from the ends of the earth. He makes lightning with the rain and brings, out, brings the wind out of his treasuries. He smote the firstborn of Egypt, the firstborn of man and beast. He sent signs and wonders into your midst, O Egypt, upon Pharaoh and all his servants. He smote many nations and slew many kings. Sion, king of the Amorites, and Og, the king of Bashan, and all the kingdoms of Canaan. He gave their land as a heritage, a heritage for the Israel, his people. Your name, O Lord, endures forever and shall be remembered through all generations. For the Lord will vindicate his people and have compassion on his servants. The idols of the nations are but silver and gold, the work of human hands. They have mouths but cannot speak, eyes have they but cannot see, they have ears but cannot hear, neither is there any breath in their mouths. Those who make them shall become like them, and so will all who put their trust in them. Bless the Lord, O house of Aaron, O house of Israel, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, O house of Levi, you who fear the Lord, bless the Lord. Blessed be the Lord from Zion who dwells in Jerusalem. Alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. If you want to follow the Old Testament reading, it's 2 Chronicles chapter 18, the first 27 verses. But we're going through to Romans chapter 1, beginning at verse 18. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and wickedness of those who by their wickedness suppress the truth. For what can be known about God is plain to them because God has shown it to them. Ever since the creation of the world, his eternal power and divine nature, invisible though they are, have been understood and seen through the things he has made. So they are without excuse. For though they knew God, they did not honour him as God or give thanks to him, but they became futile in their thinking and their senseless minds were darkened. Claiming to be wise, they became fools. And they exchanged the glory of the immortal God for images resembling a mortal human being or birds or four-footed animals or reptiles. 
Therefore God gave them up in the lusts of their hearts to impurity, to the degrading of their bodies among themselves, because they exchanged the truth about God for a lie and worshipped and served the creature rather than the creator who is blessed forever. Amen. For this reason, God gave them up to degrading passions. That women exchanged natural intercourse for unnatural. And in the same way, also men, giving up natural intercourse with women, were consumed with passion for one another. Men committed shameless acts with men and received in their own persons the due penalty for their error. And since they did not see fit to acknowledge God, God gave them up to a debased mind and to things that should not be done. They were filled with every kind of wickedness, evil, covetousness, malice. Full of envy, murder, strife, deceit, craftiness. They are gossip, slanderers, God-haters, insolent, haughty, boastful, inventors of evil, rebellious towards parents, foolish, faithless, heartless, ruthless. They know God's decree that those who practice such things deserve to die. Yet they not only do them, but even applaud others who practice them. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I bind unto myself the name the strong name of the Trinity, by invocation of the same, the three in one and one in three, of whom all nature has creation, eternal Father, Spirit, Word. Praise to the Lord of my salvation. Salvation is of Christ the Lord. You have mercy on those who fear you from generation to generation. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with the good things and sent the rich away empty. He's come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. You have mercy on those who fear you from generation to generation. So Lord Jesus Christ, we are in this period now between Pentecost and Ascension. We remember how after the day of Pentecost, the church had to explore all that you had revealed to them in, in the power of the Holy Spirit. And Lord, we pray that just as the early church had to work out how to live in a different way because of Jesus, that we will do so too. But we won't try and take those things that we like to do, or that society does or wants to do, and incorporate them into Christ when they don't fit. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Lord Jesus Christ, we pray that you will guide what happens next in this nation after what's been going on in the Conservative Party. And we remember before you, all the political leaders uh, across the home countries, knowing that they all have significant influence. And Lord, we pray that you will so order the government of Northern Ireland, Wales, Scotland, and England, that we will be governed well without favoritism, with wisdom, with integrity, and with 
a touch from you to be able to go beyond where we would go without you. Knowing that we face a fuel crisis, many of staple foods are rising in prices. We still have the challenge of climate change, which we will have as a battle to be fought for the rest of our lives. Lord, have mercy upon us, we pray. And raise up for us leaders who will take us in the best possible route in these times. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We lift before the Lord those who don't understand that there is a God or understand the implications of the Bible or who don't want to and would much rather that nobody read the Bible or believed in God. And Lord Jesus Christ, we recognize that many people wander away or they stay away. But Lord Jesus Christ, we know that you are the way, the truth and the life. And that actually, what all of us really need is in you. Please help us to understand that. Draw us closer to you. And we pray that there will be a new wind of your Holy Spirit blowing across this nation. So that your breath of life will raise up a new army of believers. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O God, from whom all good things come, grant to us, your humble servants, that by your holy inspiration we may think those things that are good, and by your merciful guiding may perform the same. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. So the Lord bless you this evening. I'm sorry, there seems to have been a little bit of echo on um, some of the words that I've been saying, uh, which I can hear. I hope you can't. Uh, but we'll try and make sure that we've got that sorted. I shall be back with Elaine tomorrow evening at five o'clock. Bye for now.